Happy October 2020. Man, this year just can't go by fast enough. We actually made it to October. October in the state of Maine where I live is really the, the beginning of a whole bunch of other traditions and outdoor experiences that happen that are based around hunting season. I just got back from a successful moose hunt. Was tickled right to death to be drawn for a, a highly coveted uh, bull moose permit in the in the first season, and uh, we brought back a nice uh, a nice bull that dressed out at 700 pounds. That's where my focus has been the next couple weeks. Now I want to spend some time with you working with these firearms before I'm back in the woods working on whitetail deer season. And today we've got a special guest. My friend Derek is here, and Derek owns the publishing company Prepper Press among several other projects that he's working on and he wanted to come to the range today just to have some fun and that's my favorite time to go to the range so we have a few nine millimeters that we brought out I'm sure you'll recognize all of them and we brought the can cannon back just because that's always a favorite stick around I want you to meet my friend Derek <laughs> So just like every other time I've been here in the last month and a half, it's way too windy to try to talk outside. The wind is really blowing. So we're going to talk to Derek a little bit here in the bunkhouse, and uh, then we're going to go outside and have some fun. But Derek, uh, how long have we known one another? We were just talking about that, like five, six years? Five or six or years, yeah. yeah. Uh, Derek uh, owns Prepper Press. Prepper Press is, is the publisher of my book, The Evolution of the Black Rifle. Uh, what a stocking stuffer, and Christmas is coming up now that I, now that I think about it. Buy one for the whole family. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, nothing like a selfless plug. So, uh, Darren, why don't, you, why don't you tell them a little bit about the other projects you have, because there's, there's going to be a whole lot of cross-interest there. Yeah, yeah, so actually I sort of got my start in the prepping world um, really all, early on in the blogging days, when blogging was still a new thing. Right. I started SHTF blog. Oh, I remember that, yeah. yeah. Shit, it's a fan blog. Right, absolutely. Um, dot com. And uh, started making money off it. Didn't really intend to. Right. Remember Weaponcraft, Maine? Yeah. They, they were one of the first people to buy an ad. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, so I got an audience there without really intending to because it was so early. And then uh, I was on the early end of publishing, too. So when, when publishing, book publishing started moving away from the big New York publishing houses and right. technology advanced so that people could start self-publishing, you know, the barrier to entry became much lower. Right, right. Um, I started publishing books, started with military manuals, you know, stuff in the public domain. Started doing really well, sold the blog, focused solely on this, and we met in that process. On the, the print publishing? Yep. yep. Um, and, uh, and then that everyone started catching on to that. Yep. And so everyone started, everyone was now an author, everyone was in a publisher. So right, we would right, be, we'd, sure. we'd be spending a lot of time and money working with really good writers. Sure producing as, as good a product as we could, and now we're suddenly we're launching it at the same time everyone else is launching hundreds of products I gotcha. on the same day. The market became saturated. It, it, you, and it was just so much noise, you couldn't get any attention sure. to your product. Sure. Um, so, moved back into blogging, yeah. bought the website back. Um, so that's where we're at now, sort of doing a hybrid between publishing books, publishing websites. We've got PrepperPress.com, of course, SHTF blog. Dot com and uh, recently bought homesteadingprepper.com to move into the the homesteading front a little bit more because um, you know the prepper market's always evolving and I've seen it go sure all over the place between you know the supposed oil crisis that we were going to have right, to right. Uh, political stuff to just sort of the back to the land stuff um, so a lot of it's a lot more diverse now than it used to be. I think a lot more people are preppers now For sure. than, than, than they used to be. Maybe even without changing what they were doing. The, the, you don't have to have a, a, an entire basement full of MREs to be a prepper. Right. I mean, there's a, there's a low bar to start out being a prepper to want to take care of your family. And I think there's a ton of crossover with, with just the firearms community in general because of the sensitivity to, uh, to self-preservation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and we've, I mean, I've seen that people, people that start with firearms, they enjoy shooting, they enjoy competitive shooting, and they're, it's just probably a natural segue then, well, you know, maybe I should 
get some extra preps because I see other people around me doing sure. that, other people in the community. And then you've got people on the prepping end who, you know, maybe buy five acres of land and just want to be able to grow some organic food, right. be a little more self-reliant. And then they say, well, maybe we need, you know, a, two, a 1022 or right. a nine millimeter or something like that. Yep. And so it's a blending of worlds. That, that sure. whole journey starts for them. Yep. Cool. Yep. Awesome. Well, today we're going to go out and enjoy that rare moment of just having some fun on the range. And I didn't want to do it without bringing you along. Just short. All right, so drop the can, then charge it. All right. Okay. So you're lobbing a little bit right over the table? Yeah, oh yeah, yep. Yep, that's it. Nice, very nice. How cool is that? It's pretty fun. See if we can get a direct hit. Off to the right. Go ahead, give it another one. <laughs> oh, right in the back stop. Huh.
This is, uh, this is more expensive than 9mm. I know it. Missed it. I can <laughs> do another one. <laughs> that smells pretty good, right? Yes, it does. Now. I like that. <laughs> smells better than nine millimeter. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. That's pretty fun. It's way fun. It's awesome. I never had any idea when it first came in, but it's a blast to shoot. Missed it too. So you were, you were explaining that you can actually shoot more than just cans with this. Oh yeah, there's different wads that they sell so you can make your own shot if you want to do a bunch of uh, uh, paintballs yeah. or flashlights yeah. or whatever, anything. You know, shaving cream cans, there's a grappling hook, there's a spear fishing attachment. Uh, there are all kinds of things you can launch with that. Yeah, yeah. Huh. For now though, we got to get that washing machine. Yeah, I would think like some glow sticks or something, and that would be pretty cool. Right, right. Kids would love that. There you go. Uh, too high. Yep, right over the top. Way too high. Wow. Give her another one. Can you get this mounted uh, underneath as well? I guess you'd need a separate feeding mechanism. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Way too right high. over. Yep. Get her, give her another one. Just bring it down a little bit. There it is. Oh. 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 Close. All right, I get one more and then... Yep, it didn't even shot. give you the benefit of a ding. It just bounced over the top. That was a great shot, too. Oh. Yeah. That was bad ammo. Yeah. Really, officer? I haven't <laughs> been drinking. I was just out shooting. <laughs> All right, last one. Oh! Boy, it smells good here, though. <laughs> You're going to go home and your wife's going to say, I thought you went to the range with Jeff. <laughs> I did. <laughs> so how cool is that? People forget that we started all of this stuff that we do to have fun. It was, it was with most of us, fun that kind of got this thing started for us in the first place. And, uh, and I still like to come out to the range and just have fun. I wish ammo was a little bit more readily available. I wish it was a little bit more affordable, but you know what they say about wishing, right? So anyway, thanks for joining us today. Please check out the things that Derek is working on with his projects. I know there's going to be a lot of interest in it. He's a great guy, and I've known him for, for five years or better, and, uh, and I like his outlook. I like the projects he's got going on and there'll be links to them down in the description below this video. So if you enjoyed this, please click like, share us with your friends in your vast social media universe. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already, both on YouTube and on Full30. Make sure you click notify so you know when we upload something new when it goes into your feed. If you'd like to see these videos a little bit before everybody else does, you can visit us over on Patreon and become part of the community there. And if you just like to talk guns, probably the best place to do that is Facebook at facebook.com slash guntestvids. Till next time, have fun and be safe.